Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Okay, so we've got two weeks left in our focus on characters from Nickelodeon's early golden years. I mean, in truth, we could go on for another year, but we're not. So far, we've drawn characters from Doug, Ren and Stimpy, Rugrats, Hey Arnold, The Wild Thornberries, Rocco's Modern Life, and Ah, Real Monsters. This week, we're going to be drawing the stars of Mitch Shower's brainchild, The Angry Beavers. Originally, the two brothers were going to be named Slack and Decker. Those names were changed of course, to Norbert and Daggett. Angry Beavers ran on Nick for four seasons, starting in April of 1997 and running through November of 2003. It was the seventh original animated series for Nick. The series revolves around the crazy adventures of Norbert and Daggett Beaver, two young Beaver brothers who've moved out of their parents' home to become bachelors in the forest near the fictional Way Out Town, Oregon. As a side note, Shower cited Rocky and Bullwinkle, the Pink Panther, and the Flintstones as primary influences for the animation and storyline of the the Angry Beavers. Anyways, before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. All right, what do you say we get started drawing from Angry Beavers, Daggett, and Norbert? We're going to draw Daggett and Norbert step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw them again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In our drawing today, both Daggett and Norbert have a head and body that are contained within a single shape, which also includes their rather giant noses. To help us map out our Beaver Brothers, we're going to keep it simple by drawing in some guidelines that divide their forms in half, thus giving us some guardrails to help position their features, as you'll see in the first step. Simply put, their heads will take up the top half, and their bodies the lower half, okay? So what do you say we get started with a roadmap for Daggett and Norbert from Nickelodeon's The Angry Beavers? Okay, so there's a roadmap for our two characters from the Angry Beavers. Now, before we go on to step two, I want to give you the layout of Daggett and Norbert's simple shapes for those of you who want a screen grab. Again, just something to help you envision how to lay out your drawing. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help you know how to construct Daggett and Norbert. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing, so you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. Okay, so let's rough out the features for our characters from the Angry Beavers beavers.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features for Daggett and Norbert. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details for Angry Brothers. I mean, Beavers. Well, I guess they're Angry Brothers too. Anyways, we don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. As I often say, I want you to be present. And what I mean by that is, you don't want to just mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. As you're drawing that final line, you want to be thinking about how you might improve it, staying vigilant until the very end. Okay, so let's draw in the details for Daggett and Norbert from the Angry Beavers. And that's how you do it. There you have it, Daggett and Norbert from Nickelodeon's The Angry Beavers. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Daggett or Norbert before, then you can't expect to have drawn them perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring our beaver brothers during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Daggett and Norbert. And with that, you can draw them again and again. And by all means, color them when you're done. I promise each time you draw them, it's going to be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. So I'd love to see your drawings of Daggett and Norbert. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. So I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.